Hi guys, it's Leah, and I'm going to be doing a My Favorite Things of like August and September, and I realize it's a little late, um, but I've been really busy with work and whatnot, and I'm actually on vacation. I started vacation, um, well, I guess this morning because it's Saturday, so I did that, and then, um, yeah, so I'm going to catch up all my videos and other stuff that I've been putting off, so like a ton of reviews for some companies i got to do too, um, but the first thing I want to show you is By Burt's Bees. And it's this aloe and linden flower after sun soother. And I didn't get sunburned a lot, but I did get a couple like very mild sunburns. Um, because I'd stay out of the sun for the most part of the summer. But I put this on um anytime I felt like my I was getting sunburnt and like the tightness in my skin went away and the like the slight stinging and stuff, it all just went away. So it works really well. It smells really good. It's cooling. It feels good on my skin. It's not greasy. And it's 99.5% um, natural, which I really like. Um, it's also paraben-free and phthalate-free. Um, and they don't test on animals. Um, so it's just it's a really awesome product. Even the tube is made from mostly recycled products, or partially. It's 20 time, it contains 22% post-consumer recycled products plastic so I love Ritz Bees um and I got that I think I bought that on sale at CVS um so and the next thing I'm going to show you is from Julep and I actually got this in one of my mystery boxes I got it in two the other one I'm giving to my mom um but it's this Julep foot file and the best petty prep ever um this stuff stinks I'm not gonna lie it smells funky but it feels like after you put it on your foot and then you like slaw off like the hard spots with the file, like my feet feel amazing. So I got that and I was really excited about it. There is actually another product in here from Julep, um, which I guess I'll show you. Actually, I'm not going to show you next. I'm going to wait until I find the other product in here that goes with it. The next thing I'm going to show you, um, this was a gift from a friend and it's from Fruits and Passion. And it's a foaming bath cream, um, and it's in pamplemousse and guava, which actually stands for grapefruit and guava. But it's, it smells so good. It's like citrusy and fresh, and it just smells amazing. Plus, I like the glass bottle. I like the frosted thick glass and the actual cork that it comes with. Um, so I really liked it, and yeah. I got that and it lasts a while like I've actually used it I want to say like four or five times and you can barely tell I've used any and I've poured but I felt like it was a generous amount in each time so I was pretty excited about that my next favorite is actually like almost empty like I don't know if I'm getting like I probably won't use that because there's barely any left I don't know I might actually I probably will who am I kidding? But it's um, from Matrix. It's their Color Smart Intensive Hair Mask. And I color my hair, um, as I've said previously, and I really like it. I feel like it leaves my hair smooth and soft and keeps it less damaged, so I really like that. And this is my favorite moisturizer um, ever, of like all the moisturizers I've ever tried. It's from Origins. And I actually got it free, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to be sad when it's empty because it's a 30 some odd dollar product. Um, I think it was $35 or $30. I don't know. I got two moisturizers from them at the same time. And the other one I still have and haven't used. Um, but the other one is the... It's not quite the same one. The other one is... This one's a perfect world. And the other... I don't know. The other one's like an anti-aging one. I can't remember what it's called. It's the Age Defense Moisturizer with White Tea. And this is the full size. It's um, 1.7 ounces. It usually comes in like the little jar. Um, I got this on Earth Day because if you brought in like two empty bottles or three empty bottles, you had to bring in like an empty bottle or a couple empty bottles of products um, to get it. And then they give it to you. But I really like it. And the tube was made out of 30% post-consumer plastics. The cap is 100% post-consumer plastics. It's formulated without parabens, phthalates, propylene, glycol, mineral oil, PABA, petroleum, paraffin, DEA, 
or PABA, I don't know how you pronounce that one, DEA, synthetic color, synthetic fragrance, and animal ingredients. Um, it says Origins test its products on volunteer panels. Um, and then doo -doo -doo, that's all it says. But I really, really like it. It's, I don't know, it's just, it's thick, it goes on, it's not greasy. My face always feels amazing. And it smells like oranges. <laughs> So, I don't know. It's just an amazing moisturizer now that I'm done talking about that. Everyone should try this. Um, and I think it has SPF 15 in it. No, SPF 25. So, yeah. That's an awesome moisturizer. And then... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, I'll show you these two next. Um, next is this Nexus Dulista Dual Benefit Leave-In Spray. It's for color protection and intense hydration. And I use this a lot over the summer um, because, like, especially if I go swimming a lot. Because, um, like I said, I color my hair and it gets dry and this works wonders for it. Um, and it smells really good. And it has detangler in it, too. Um, the next thing is from Bath & Body Works and it's just one of their lotions. I have the bubble bath. Um, I kind of want to get the body wash because I love the scent. Like, that's mostly where I'm showing it to you. Because the lotion, if you can tell, I haven't used that much of. Um, it's pretty much just about the scent. It's called in their carried away scent. Um, it just smells so good to me. I don't know why. I just really like the scent. Which I'll get around to using the lotion. Oh. I have used it a little bit, just not that much. The next thing is this Yes to Blueberries Age Refreshing Cleansing Facial Towelettes. Um, I almost bought the cucumber one, cucumber ones, but I really like blueberries, so I got the blueberry ones. And they smell a little like blueberries, not that much though, so it's kind of sad. But got those, which I really like. Like they're great for removing your makeup quickly, um, or just like freshening up your face. Ow. And then there's four more products in here. No, five more products. Yeah, five. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is this Nail Teak Snail Therapy. Um, and I just use it along my cuticle line. It's treatment for nail and cuticle care. And um, it works really well. I haven't used it in a while, which is why it doesn't look like it's almost empty. Um, actually, I do need to start using it again. But I got to the point where I was using it like three or four times a day. It was a little excessive. And I actually ended up peeling off some of my nail polish like in a solid sheet because my nails were so oily from using it. But I really like it. So I'm going to start using it. I just have to like limit how much I use it because I feel like it works really well. Um, and then like I just I like it. So it smells really good too. The next thing is from Maybelline. And I've had this forever. Um, like if I were one of those people who actually threw products away after you're supposed to I totally wouldn't have this because I don't know when I bought it but I haven't used it like I just started using it recently so I don't know it's um, just a blush and it's called Mob Pulse um, it's just a very light blush I'm actually wearing it now but you can't tell at least you can't tell much I guess you can kind of see it like right here but it's just a very light blush and I really like it so I got that this is also a product that should probably have been thrown away because I don't like I found it in the back of like one of my makeup drawers and I put it on and I love it um it's the flavor labels worn off it's cinnamon cookie or cinnamon something or another um it's from beauty rush it's just a lip gloss like It's a very glittery lip gloss. Um, it's Beauty Rush, which is, which is Victoria's Secret's brand, uh, makeup brand. And then, let me see if I can put it on real quick. Like, you can put it on. So it's very sheer. It just has like a light red color. Or you can do it where it's a lot thicker. And is a much darker red color. Um, and I actually like it either way. But yeah. So there's that. 
The only downside is because it is very glittery. Um, it feels a little gritty on your lips. It's also very sticky. But I don't dislike the sticky, so it's not bad. And then, then the last two things. Um, one is this, I put off trying it, I don't know why, is a sample of the Jane Airedale um, Conditioner and Lash Extender. It's called Pure Lash Extender and Conditioner. And I put it on and I really like it. Um, and it just looks like that comes with a little mascara brush and you rub it on your eyelashes and I actually put it on my upper and lower lashes before I did my makeup today and in addition to that I used this Julep American Beauty Volumizing Mascara which I didn't think I was going to like this when I got it in my September Julep box um, but I like it a lot it's actually like my favorite mascara at the moment um, so there you go those are my August September favorites um for 2012 and hopefully i won't be lazy and i'll actually do one for october um on the first of november but thank you for watching you guys have a great day if you have any favorites or have done a favorite video feel free to link it to mine and i'd love to see what your favorites are for the month um thanks guys have a great day bye